Hi everybody, it's Kathy and I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul. Um, I am going to start out today's video with a product review. Um, this is not a Dollar Tree product. Um, this company, Okesu, contacted me and asked me to review one of their products. And I already own an Okesu product, which I bought off of Amazon. I bought a bathroom scale from Amazon by the company Okesu, and I was really happy with it. So when they contacted me and asked me to review this product, I was like, yes, sir. So the product I'm reviewing, <clears throat> I'm not going to show you the actual product because it's plugged in and it's running right now. I don't know if they, you can hear that in the background. But there's a very slight noise in the background. Um, that is my air purifier. Um, this is the product that I'm reviewing. It is the Okesu Air Max 8L, and it's an air purifier. <coughs> Excuse me. What a perfect time for this to come. With everything that's going on in the world, an air purifier is something everybody should have in their home. It's a five-stage Five stage ultra duo duo medical grade air purifier. It has two filters in it. It has a button on it that will notify you when the filter needs to be changed. So you don't have to keep track of that. There is some information on the product, but I turned this on and I love this product. It's good for dust, viruses and bacteria. Yes. Smoke, if you're a smoker, which I am, and most of my uh, friends and close family are. Wildfire smoke, you know, I don't know how often you need wildfire smoke, but, you know, if you're in need of that. Pet dander, cooking odors, it is just the best product. I am absolutely in love with it. <clears throat> I got it, I opened it up, I plugged it in, and... um as I said, I'm a smoker. My son is a smoker. We were sitting here smoking and it just sucked that smoke right out of the air. And as far as um, dust, allergens, if you suffer from allergies, this is a perfect product. Um, bacteria, which you all know, this is the time to, uh, you know, have something like this product in your home and um, cooking odors, I haven't used it as far as that goes yet, but um, you know, when you're cooking fish or something that will smell up the house, not in a good way, um, this is the perfect product for you. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, I couldn't be happier with it. Uh, the product itself is 20 inches tall, which is, you know, it's much smaller than this box appears because um, this box is pretty huge. When I got it, I was like, oh my God, where am I going to put that thing? But it's only 20 inches tall. You, you need to have it like 18 inches, I think, away from, you know, the wall or a piece of furniture or something. Mine is over here in front of a, cat, uh, like, piece of furniture that I have over here and it just clears this room. It just makes me feel like the air is fresher in here. Not only from the smoking but just you know if you have your air conditioning running and the dust particles and it just cleans the air and it, it feels like a nice spring day every day. I, I just have to say I am in love with this product. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so I will leave some information down below for you to check out this product. Um, I think it's fairly reasonably priced and um, I really like it. So if you're in need of something like this or you've been thinking about purchasing something like this, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, I'm so ecstatic that they offered me to review this product um, free of charge. I just couldn't love it anymore. So... Once again, it's this product, the Okesu Air Max 8L, and it's medical grade filtration system. So, I mean, what more could you ask for? And putting it together was easy peasy. All you had to do was take the back off and insert the two filters, 
plug it in and boom, you got your air purified. Who could ask for anything more than that? So I just want to say two thumbs up to the Okesu air purifier. And I also want to recommend their scale. It's a glass scale, lights up digitally, and um, it's just an awesome scale as well. So I'm really happy with Okesu products. I may look to see, you know, what other products they sell. But I just bought that Okesu scale randomly on Amazon. And then when this company contacted me and said, would you try our product? I was like, absolutely. I already love your scale. Let me try this product. And I'm so, so happy that I got it. <coughs> so if you're interested, um, the little arrow right underneath this um, video, click on that. The description box pops up and I will leave the information about that product. So let's move on to the Dollar Tree haul. Woohoo! Now, guys, this is the second time I'm filming this. I forgot to put my phone on airplane mode, and I was probably 15 to 20 minutes into this haul um, when I got interrupted with a phone call. That was not a good phone call. It was, you know, one of those solicitor phone calls, and it really upset me greatly. So now that my phone is on airplane mode, we won't be interrupted again. I started out with some food products and I'm going to start again with the food products. I picked up this box of cheese nips by Nabisco, brand name, little cheese crackers. It's a seven ounce box and uh, I picked that up for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Can't beat that. Kids love those. I picked up two packs of Reese's five count peanut butter cups. These five count ones are a little smaller than the two pack that you get, but if you can get five cups for a dollar instead of um, instead of uh, getting two cups for a dollar, yes, I will take five cups. I love Reese's peanut butter cups, and uh, they're a great little snack after work before going to bed. Love them. Uh, next thing I picked up was um, these Baker Secret cinnamon crumble buns i like these a lot um my store doesn't carry them anymore for some reason they still have all the other baker secrets little products they sell like this but the cinnamon crumbles are not to be found anywhere near me so i got two boxes of them they are a five ounce package and you get five cakes it says try them hot which i have not done yet but um yeah i really like these a lot so if you like cinnamon buns give these a shot i really like them i'm trying not to hold anything up too high because i noticed that when i hold it up higher this window gets really bright something about the way the camera is working so I'm going to try to keep things down low. I also bought two boxes of the chocolate chip mini muffins. You get three packages. There are five in a pack which is a nice little serving. Great for kids. They like anything that they can hold in their hand and I thought they were really good. My son was here yesterday and he ate two bags of them so they must be good. So these, both these and the cinnamon buns are good until November of 2020. Let me just double check that. Did I check that? Actually, these are good until February of 2021. And these are good until November. They will not last that long, believe me. Um, the next food item I picked up was the canister of the planters cheese balls in the white cheddar variety um, they come in regular they come in nacho cheese and now they come in white cheddar as well these are classic planters cheese balls in the can you can just you know eat some and then put the little cap on and seal them up and they'll be fresh for the next time you want to eat them I'm not a huge fan of this type of snack um, like that 
cheese ball, jacks, that texture. I don't know. I don't, I, they're okay, but I don't love that. It's a sensory thing, I guess. I don't know. But I tried the nacho ones and I thought they were pretty good. Um, I liked them. And so I thought I'd give a, a try to the white cheddar ones as well. You know, whatever I don't eat, the kids will come over. And because they have a little plastic top on them, they'll stay fresh till the kids come over and they can gobble them down. I have to take these back out of the bag that I put these in the first time I filmed this. <clears throat> the next thing I picked up was these Keebler Toasted. There goes the window again. Harvest Wheat Crackers. Keebler. They're not in a box, but that's okay. They're each individually wrapped, each sleeve, and you get more than you would if you bought the box. And the box in the grocery store is like three, four dollars. I got three rows of Keebler Harvest Wheat Toasted Crackers for a dollar. For a dollar. I was like, what? So I got those. I... They also come in the butter crisp, I think is the name of the other kind of cracker. I didn't realize at first that there were two uh, different flavors. I just thought it was just the harvest wheat. But then I saw somebody else haul them and they had the butter crisps. So in another video, I do have the butter crisp crackers. <clears throat> Will have the butter, butter, crisp. butter crisp crackers. Say that three times fast. And with crackers, I also picked up this Sunray Snacks Vegetable Entertainer Crackers. These are comparable to the Breton crackers, but you get more. And they're by a company called Sunray Snacks. They look good. They're a six ounce package. Um, they are manufactured in Cambridge, a product of Canada. So they are from Canada. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't know, I got a frog in my throat. And I also got the original entertainer crackers. I like to have these for when I have people over, like when I have a party or something. I like to have a little fancier cracker just for special occasions. And these are good until March of 2021. So I will be able to save these for my annual Christmas party, which is always a hoot. Um, I have all my friends over and, well, co-workers, former co-workers, and we just have ourselves a good old time. And the last thing that I got that is not really food, but food related, I picked up a 24 count of the Super Heavy Duty Forks. These are in the party section. As you can see, it says party right up here. And these are really good plastic forks. You get 24, and they're the full-size fork. That's not a very good way to say it, show them. Normally, your plastic forks end about here, but these are a full-size, like, regular fork, and they're super heavy-duty, and I, I get these when I need them, and I am in need of plastic forks. Um, let me just drop these things back in the bag that I put them in originally just to bring those out to the kitchen and do what I have to do with them. <clears throat> I can't believe that I got cut off on my last video. I said some very unflattering four-letter words when that happened, but I'm over it now. Anyway, next thing I want to move to is health and beauty. Um, I was able to pick up some of these Eco Tools facial, I want to say cognac, cognac, I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that, but I'm guessing the J is not a hard J. Sponge, they are, um, they remove, naturally removes excess oils to refresh and cleanse skin. They're safe for sensitive skin. So if you have sensitive skin, that's awesome. And they're 100% natural vegetable fiber. I picked up a couple of extra ones. And in the last video, I opened one up so I could show you guys what it looked like. I picked up the extras for 
I want to do like a beauty giveaway with some hard candy and elf makeup and eco tools. And this is what the sponge looks like. It's a very hard sponge. I imagine when it hits water, it softens up. And it has a little hanging thing here. So you can hang this in your bathroom, in your shower, or, you know, somewhere in your bathroom. But I wanted to open that up and show it to you because in the package it doesn't really look that spongy looking. It looks just like a... Let me show you. This is what it looks like in the package. It doesn't look anything like this. So I'm glad I opened it to show you guys. Now you know what it looks like. And if you can't find it, hopefully you will win one of my giveaways. See, when I put it back in the package, it looks like that. There must be some kind of film on the package. So I picked up that. Um, I also picked up a couple boxes of Band-Aids. I got Scooby-Doo Band-Aids. You get 20 of them. And they look like that. Got all the characters from Scooby-Doo, Shaggy and Daphne, and there's Scooby, for those of you that remember Scooby-Doo. And there's a new Scooby-Doo movie coming out, apparently. And then I picked up the Wonder Woman Band-Aids. You get 20 of these as well, and you get Wonder Woman. And there's a couple other designs on there, but I just thought that would be fun for the kids. I also picked up the Jergens Extra Moisturizing Hand Soap. I only got one of these. It is a seven and a half ounce container. Uh, extra moisturizing hand wash, cleans and moisturizes. So apparently it has some like Jergens uh, lotion in it to moisturize your hands as well as clean them. Um, a friend of mine really likes this product. She bought a ton of them. And uh, I was just like, you know what? I have a ton of hand soap, but I'm going to give that a try if you like it that much. And this is the cherry almond flavor, flavor, scent. You're not going to be eating hand soap. At least I hope you're not. Next thing I found was I picked up two of these personal care rosemary lavender foaming hand sanitizer. And I'm telling you guys, the packaging is what got me. I just thought it was so, so pretty. I mean, just adorable. Look at the beautiful flowers on that. And foaming hand sanitizer. We all need hand sanitizer. It says it kills 99.9% .9 of germs. And you guys, it also came in a lemon scent. I just, the packaging got me. I was like, yes, yes, I need to have these. So I picked up two of the rosemary and lavender and I picked up two of the lemon. And these are eight ounce containers. So they should last a good long while. Um, I also picked up two of the Assured Instant Hand Sanitizers. These are the traveling ones. Um, I carry one of these in my purse at all times. I also have one in my car um, console at all times because you never know when you're going to be out and you, you know, you go in a store. I come out of a store. First thing I do is sanitize my hands. <clears throat> this particular one is lav lavender scented. I usually get the green one, but I said, you know what, let's uh, change things up and see how this one smells. Not that the green one bothers me. It doesn't, you know, it smells alcoholy, but that's okay. I like it. So I just thought I'd try the purple one for shits and giggles. Um, these are two ounces each and it kills 99 point, just 99% of germs. That 0.9, it's just not there. So if you're concerned about that 0.9%, don't buy that. Just kidding. Um, I picked up this comb. I love it. I love the metallic look of it. And I just thought, I have to have that comb. I'm actually going to open it just because I want to get a good look at it. Yeah, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. If you can see that. I don't know why 
there must be some type of special comb that this is that not all the bristles I don't know what you call those are not the same size there must be something about this comb that's special but I just loved the um, look of it I'm going to put this right now I have um, you know that little smiley face ceramic thing I had with the white girl with the lashes and the lips I put those gem makeup brushes in it and it looks adorable and I thought I could stick that in there too just to you know give it a little zhuzh so anyway that's why I got that <clears throat> I picked up um two packages of the assured men's facial and body wipes you get 30 in a package I picked up two of those to give to my son um, they're great. Don't have time to hit the showers. No problem. Our paraben free face and body wipes leave you feeling clean and fresh. So these will be good for him. Got those for him. Put those over there. So I remember to give those to him. Um, and the last, well, this is kind of not, eh, I guess this is beauty. I picked up these two hair clips. Now, Caroline was with me. We got in the store, and right in the front of the store is a bunch of hair items and then the school stuff. She pointed to these and said, Grandma, can we get these? You can have this one, and I can have that one. Now, neither one of us have hair for these things. Um, my hair is cut short now, and uh, I suppose I could just stick it in my hair, but no. Um... You know, neither one of us have the hair for these because she's just little and her hair is fine and it's short like mine. But you know what I said? I'll get them. It's a dollar. If it makes her happy, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. But that's the two hair clips I picked up. And then the last health and beauty item I picked up, I picked up several of these. It's the e.l.f. Trying not to make that window go crazy. The e.l.f. Um, color correcting stick for dark circles. And I picked up a couple of these for me because I have the old dark circles going on under my eyes. And I picked up, they had a ton of them. So I picked up three more, again, to go in the beauty giveaways. Because I know a lot of you are not finding the e.l.f. and the hard candy um, beauty products. Wet n' Wild L.A. Colors are in almost every store. But some of these more brand name items are elusive to some of you. So I picked them up and I thought I would put um, keep two for myself and put some others in a beauty giveaway. Uh, next, we are going to do, how about a couple candles? I found these new Butter Pecan Old Williamsburg candles. They are the three ounce size soy blend scented candle. And let's take a whiff. I think I smelled this in the store. Wow, that's really tight. Oh, that smells so good. It is a one wick candle. And if you like Butter Pecan... The throw isn't great on these. You know, they're dollar candles. What do you expect? But they do have a nice light scent. So I picked up two of the Butter Pecan, and they're great for gifts. You know, if you if you don't know what to get somebody or you need a last-minute gift, throw a couple candles, um, maybe some Bolero products in a little bag, you know, wrap something up, and there you go. You got a gift for somebody because everybody loves candles. Everybody does. So next thing I'm going to move on to is um, crafting. I picked up, I you know, I keep saying I'm not going to buy any more um, fall stuff. Not working, guys. Been buying it. Not in the amount that I bought last year because I still have a ton of it from last year. But I picked up this Buffalo Check ribbon. This can be used any time of year. It is um, wire edge ribbon. It's nine feet long, and it is uh, two and a half inches wide, and who doesn't love Buffalo Check? I love that black and white Buffalo Check. I also picked up this really pretty brown plaid. 
Deflection is bad. Ba brown plaid. Nee, 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 I'm moving it all over the place. Anyway, I hope that you are able to see that. I thought it was really pretty. So I picked up one of those, and that's also nine feet. And then I could not resist, again, the pumpkins and red truck. Those of you that have been around for a while know that I'm obsessed with the red truck. Anything red truck, I just love, absolutely love this ribbon. And it's got like the gold around the wire part. And these, again, are nine feet. So I picked up two of these just because it's got the red truck on it and I'm sure I will use that crafting. Next thing I found was this four piece um, package of butterflies. They are, if you can see, let me see, let me open this up. They're the, um, it says they're for paper crafts but I'm not you know, really sure why it says paper crafts. You can use it for anything. But these are what they look like. And they have the little tab glue thing to stick them on. And they are, you know, they ha they're like 3D. They have the little front to them. And I just thought they were absolutely beautiful. They're a new design. They had another design out earlier. Um, but this was new to me. So I grabbed this design. to put that back in the package in a minute. Um, I was able to pick up some wooden items. Uh, Caroline picked out this unicorn for her to paint. That's going to be fun. So she'll be glad I hauled that because I always tell her um, she can't have things until I show you guys. Because once she takes it, then I'm not about to show it. So she has her unicorn. She can come over and paint her unicorn. And... Uh, I picked up this cruise fix. I just thought I could paint this and make something really nice for my mom to hang in her room at the um, assisted living facility and because uh, she's very religious. Um, so I thought I could do something very nice with this for her. It's wood and it is it is nine and a half inches from top to bottom so it's a good size and then you know I just told you about the red truck not just red truck I like the blue truck the black truck the I just love the pickup truck look I found the wooden truck with the pumpkins in it and it has a bit of a 3d design in it where you can see um, the wheel has a little like hubcap on it and this part it's like not just a flat thing. I love it. I picked up two of them. And I can't wait to do some craft with it. I just love it. And I love it just plain, but I am going to paint it and whatnot. And this is 11 and a half inches long. So it's almost a foot. And I am in love with it. I like the cutout of the door and the little cutout of the handle to open the door love 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 it so I got two of those and then I was able to pick up a few more scraps of um craft fabric I got this one which is butterflies now by the time I got to my, to these craft fabrics there this was the only one I could get two of so I got two of the um, butterflies. And then, and these are 20 inches by 21 inches. So they're a square, apparently. Um, I got two of those. I got this one, which I thought was pretty. All the others were singular. There was, you know, not any um, doubles. It was only that one fabric had two and then I just got this pretty plaid I thought that would make a really cool mask not that I'm going to make masks but maybe I could do something else with it and the last crafting item I got was this um purple felt roll 
it is 11.75 inches by 48 inches. So you get, you know, four feet of felt in here. Woo! Um, I got this for us to um, make Barbie blankets with and, you know, to play with with Caroline. And, um, you know, if there's any left over, I can use it for other art projects. That is all the crafting stuff I have. Um, in stationery, I picked up this um, Jot Journal. Comes with stickers on the front. You get, uh, does it say how many you get? Five by seven, 60 sheets, 35 stickers. And those are the stickers that it comes with. Try the reflection on the, you know, holographic ones is bad, but you get stickers and then it's a, a very light lavender background and you got your lined sheets on the inside and they are purple lined. You can't tell that. So I picked that up. Um, I, let me go to the books now, I guess. This is kind of a book toy. I picked up this dress up mermaid thing book for Caroline. Um, they've had these around a while, different versions of it, but you get stickers and you get, you know, the pictures and you can change the look of the Little Mermaid with the stickers that are included. Um, you know, there's a little banjo and a shirt and they have like several, you know, you just put the sticker on the pictures. And I thought it was cute. I picked it up for Caroline and um, it says has over 20 stickers. I thought it was cute. And then she also got, because she was with me this day. Not that that makes a difference. I, you know, these are things she picked out. She also picked out a Trolls coloring book. And, oh, didn't realize it had all these um, puzzles and stuff in it. This might be a little old for her. Actually, this is not even a coloring book. I didn't even look through this. Oh, boy. It says word search puzzle book. So I guess I'll have to be on the hunt for another trolls coloring book because this is not a coloring book. And she is definitely too young for this. So hopefully she doesn't remember I have it. <laughs> um, and the last toy item I picked up was these Transformers five pack shaped um, chalk. They're shaped like Transformers. There's who they are on the back. You get five pieces of chalk. And I bought these to keep in my toy stash for either boy birthdays or if Christmas time comes around, um, I will, you know, give these to Toys for Tots or donate them to some, some little kid that just doesn't have anything. For a dollar, they can say, wow, Transformer chalk, yay. And it makes me happy, so. I got those. Um, I also put, picked up some books. One last stationary thing. You know, I was watching all these haulers recently. You know, I, I watch that before I go to, watch different haulers before I go to bed. And uh, I saw them hauling this calendar, which I was like, oh, I need to get one of those. And then when I took this bag out, I got one. So what it is, is it's a calendar and it's a 2021 calendar. Let's take it out of the package here for you. You get two little notepads on the bottom. So not only do you get a calendar, but you get two little notepads on the bottom to make notes on either, um, you know, for that month or whatever. This one says notes and this says very important and um, you have a little hook, metal hook here on the top that you can hang it from a push pin or those metal hooks that they have that go on the refrigerator. And then you have your monthly calendar for 2021. They had a bunch of different designs. This is the one I chose. 
um, cause it's just really pretty and it's pink and blue and I love those two colors. So I grabbed that. Very nice to have. I am obsessed with calendars. I don't know why. I buy them. I buy tons of them. I use a few of them and I decided that this year I'm only going to buy ones that I can repurpose for crafting. So if you see me get slightly obsessed with calendars, that's just one of my idiosyncrasies is calendars. Um, and the last thing I have here, guys, is some books. So I found this one, Growing Up Gourmet, 125 Healthy Meals for Every Body and Every Baby. And I just thought that was an awesome book. It's got um, not a lot of pictures in it, but um, just some really great recipes for staying healthy and getting the kids to learn to eat healthy now while they can. There's a nice picture. You know, teach them young that healthy food is good food and not junk food, you know. There's another picture. But I just thought it was a great book. And this retailed for... It's got a sticker on the back. Am I going to be able to get it off? Yes, I am. This retailed for $24. This sold for $24. And I got it for a dollar. So, can't beat that. I am obsessed with buying uh, cooking books. I don't know why. I don't do a whole lot of cooking um, anymore, but I just love cookbooks and pictures of food. This next book is Dinner Chez Moi, French. Um, this is by um, Elizabeth Bard, author of best-selling Lunch in Paris. And this book just has all kinds of really nice, simple spaghetti and anchovies. This one also doesn't have a ton of pictures, but actually doesn't have any pictures. Doesn't look it, but that's okay. It's got some great recipes. And, uh, you know, I took French in high school, so chez moi. Just really caught my attention. And this has a sticker on the back as well. Let's see, this is, this sold for $25 when it sold. That's the back of the book. I really, just really liked it. I want to keep the cover on that. It's just a plain red cover. So you want to keep the jacket on that one. And then I picked up Almonds Every Which Way. More than 150 healthy and delicious almond milk, almond flour, and almond butter recipes. And this one, again, doesn't have a ton of pictures. It does in the middle, I guess. Let's see. Come on, pictures. Ooh, I love almonds, so if you can give me a bunch of recipes with almonds, yes, ma'am, I will try it. And this is by Brooke McGlay. Food writer, food photographer, and recipe developer for Disney's BabbleTablespoon.com. And this retailed for, hmm, another sticker. Why do they have to put the stickers on the back? I don't know. It says $22 in Canada. I can see that. $18.99. This sold for $18.99 regularly in a bookstore, and I got it for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So I got that. And the last book and final item for this haul is this, this Jesse James Decker book, Just Jesse, My Guide to Love, Life, Family, and Food. And uh, I, this woman is a country singer. I'm not huge into country, fan, country music. I'm not a huge fan. I like some country. But I have heard of this girl. And I thought this would be an interesting read. It's got pictures of her and her family and recipes. 
and just a nice little book. And after I read it, I will pass it on to someone else. And this book, why do they keep putting these stickers on the back? This book retailed for da, 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 $25.99. I'm guessing because she's a country artist that they put a higher price tag on it, thinking her fans would buy them, buy it. But this is the book, and uh, I'm interested in reading that. So, my friends, that is the end of my haul for today. I will be back with, I hope, several hauls this weekend because I want to get up to date with everything that I've gotten from the Dollar Tree so that you're able to get out there and get some of these finds as well. I um, hope you all have a wonderful day. Don't forget to purchase this air purifier. I absolutely love it. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. And uh, I just want you all to know I love you all. And uh, I appreciate all the love and support you have given me and my little Caroline through all my videos. I hope it's okay that I'm filming without her. I know y'all love her, but it is my channel. And uh, I did start this to show you guys Dollar Tree hauls. And uh, thank you all for all your love and support. If you are not subscribed to my channel, there's a little word down here that says subscribe. Click on that. You'll become a member of my YouTube family. And uh, if you choose so, there's a bell where you can be notified every time I upload a video. That's all I have to say, guys. Have a great day. Bye now.